Let us Democrats send out a message that racism has no place in our politics. The DA may be the most diverse party in South Africa, but we're not diverse enough. We must continue to embrace the rich diversity of South Africa with all of its challenges and its contradictions. If we do not, we will not be able to have an honest conversation about our divided past. Nor will we be in a position to craft our shared future. And so, from today, I will require our structures at constituency, regional, and provincial levels to set targets for recruitment and development of candidates for public office. These targets and the progress made towards achieving them will be reviewed regularly by a federal executive. My objective is simply this, that by 2019, our parliamentary and legislature caucuses and councils and our decision-making structures and our executive at all levels will reflect the diversity of our complex society. And we will, we will do it without resorting to dehumanizing quotas that reduce human beings to statistics. Finally, in the coming weeks, I will introduce a policy document for adoption at our federal con council that sets out a vision for a fair South Africa. This is an urgent council, Democrats. It's an important moment for all of us. This document focuses itself as a plan to overcome the structural inequalities that continue to divide us. At the heart of it is the recognition that the majority of black South Africans remain locked out of opportunity. The policy identifies the key obstacles to redressing this inequality, including our unequal education system, the skewed patterns of land ownership, the uneven access to justice, and the concentration of capital in a few hands. Ultimately, the only way to redress apartheid's legacy is to ensure that every child, no matter what their circumstances is, has the best chance to be what they can be. This does mean, Democrats, that we need a black economic empowerment that benefits poor black South Africans. Not the politically connected, not the elite, but we really begin to address the structural inequalities and benefit the poor in our country. It means that we must ensure that black South Africans benefit from an efficient, and sustainable land reform program. It means for our governments and for everywhere we are, we must focus on spatial development that undoes the separate and unequal development of apartheid. It means ensuring that our children receive an education that prepares them to compete with anyone in the world. And it does mean that we'll be building an inclusive and a growing economy that creates jobs so that every single one of us can prosper together. Bahaitu, fellow Democrats, South Africans, in conclusion, there can be no denying that we stand at a difficult juncture in our history. But I know we can overcome any challenge if we stand together. We have done it before, 
and we shall do it again. I draw inspiration from the first treason trial in 1956. We must never forget that black, white, Indian, and colored South Africans stood trial together that year. They were united around shared values, the ideals of a non-racial South Africa, and the freedom of black South Africans. This struggle, we must continue. So I ask you and I invite you, South Africans and Democrats, let us stand together against racism. Let us acknowledge and confront the harsh material realities that so many black South Africans still face. Let us find each other again and let us build a nation where we can prosper together. And let us go into a future as one people with one shared destiny. Let us live and strive for freedom in South Africa, our beautiful land. I thank you.